Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kate, and today we are getting ready for Lollapalooza Day 1, which is Thursday. Um, as you can tell, I'm, I am still in Florida because I am pre-filming this video. Two reasons. One, I am leaving like at six or five in the morning the day of we're driving my friends up there so i didn't want to do this in the car two this is kind of preparing me to find out what i need to pack so just act like this is the day of and it is all good also if you guys can tell i do have a table right behind me and in front of me actually I finally got them since moving down. We are trying to do my setup now. I still don't have my lights, so the lighting is not good at all. I barely even have lighting up there, but we're just gonna deal with it like we have for the time being, because honestly, it's fine as long as I can get content out to you guys. That's all I care about. Moving on, I chose to wear this top with those jean shorts with the white stripe on the side. Currently don't have those on because you don't see what I wear bottoms in these videos but i decided to wear this because i thought it would be really fun and just colorful and it's relaxing so with that being said let's go on to the tutorial and see what i'm gonna be looking like at lala first step i want to have a really good primer now because it's probably going to be kind of hot out i checked the weather and it's supposed to be in the high 80s like mid 60s probably in the morning time I wanted to have a good primer for the base of my makeup. So I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This has kind of been my go-to one right now because I have been out of some of my other ones, but I really like the way this one feels on my skin. And it smells really nice actually, so that's a added bonus. Next, we are gonna be moving on to our foundation using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector. This is their Blurring Skin Tint in shade three. I'm using this because it is a very light foundation and it has sunscreen in it so that covers my sunscreen for the day so if it's very sunny out or the uv rays are shining i don't have to worry about it i already got my sunscreen on my face now with this look i really want to go for a light makeup look now i've been trying to do that this summer a lot because it's just been a hot summer where i've been at so it's kind of my go-to with this foundation to use because it's just very lightweight. But more importantly, during these concerts, you're gonna be sweating a lot, you're around a lot of people. You don't wanna sweat off your makeup. That would be super unfortunate. Next, we are actually going to be trying something new. Tested this out once, but not a ton. It's kind of an experiment we're doing. This is the incredible You Glow Girl um, Cosmetic Blur Iridescent Jelly. So this is what the bottle looks like. I'll undo it for you. It's just a very iridescent jelly. Hopefully you can see that iridescentness glow there. I think you can. But I really wanted to incorporate this a lot in my look because it's something I could just lay on my face as one of the base parts of it. And I feel like it'll be able to shine and give me that iridescent glow throughout the day. So I'm just gonna take one of my small stipple brushes and in this jelly maybe this will work okay so i think i got some product there and i'm also doing this before i put my powder on because it is a jelly i don't want it to cake up the powder putting it on top i don't really have a great light so i will show you guys after i put it on the graphic glow it leaves also i'm trying not to do too much concealer because i don't really have any imperfections i need to try and take away my under eyes have been pretty good recently and it's just an additive product i don't really feel like i'll need right now if i can do without it i'm gonna do without it let me pull up my phone to see if crap so do you see that glow at least that is what we want because in the sunlight that's going to pick up very very nicely it's going to look really pretty i'm so sorry about the lighting guys but this is what we got to do time being um, so then I'm just going to go ahead and take a small, this is just a shiny old brush I have, dip some in there, and I'm just going to highlight some more areas on my face. Um, so my nose, tiny bit there, bridge, under my brows, and then I'm going to do my inner eyes too. Now, 
Like I said, I'm doing this as the third step because it is a jelly. I want to be able to put this down before I put any of my other products down so it doesn't cake them up. And I've never really tried it using it this way, so I'm just kind of experimenting with it. It's not my normal um, step routine, which is a little weird for me, or if you see my videos, I'm going out of order for myself, but I think it'll work the best doing it this way. Our next step, we are going in with the Max Studio Fix. Now, because I put the jelly on and it's a little sticky still and a little wet, I'm going to be careful around those areas right now just to make sure I don't get my brush too much in that product. I also don't want to take away the goat leaves. I think I'm good. Yeah, so I think I'm good with that there. Next, going with my Too Faced bronzer. Sorry, my mac and cheese is done. I made myself some dinner tonight. That easy mac. I think it's SpongeBob. Whatever. And then I'm even gonna go ahead with my Coco Contour and just lightly carve out my cheeks a tiny bit more just to give it a little more depth. I really don't want to make it look too heavy. I just want to add the slight amount of details. And then for blush, we are going in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Parte. Because it's going to be a Parte. And hitting the apples in my cheeks. And hopefully when I mix it in with this color, I think it might like blend in nice and then take the blush and just get that more of a iridescent glow. I don't know when I, I'm just experimenting with this product. I'm trying to see how it works with it. So next we're going to do eyebrows and for eyebrows, I'm using the Goof Birth Brow Pencil by Benefit in shade two. Now I just brush up my brows. I don't go too heavy. I just really use this to fill in in mainly on the edge end because the end is where I feel like I have more not as full as in the front the front of my brows are pretty full and then I brush it up to disperse the product even more okay and then moving on doing the same exact thing on this side and then next to uh, finally set our brows. We're using the Benefit Brow 24 Hour Brow Setter. Just brushing this up and then this will leave our eyebrows in place all day throughout the entire concert. Next for our eyelids and our eyes, I'm actually not doing any eyeshadow. The reason being because it might be really hot out, might be sweating, might be sticky, whatever factor, I do not want my eyeshadow crease. Even though I will put primer on it, set my makeup, there's always a chance of it, something happening and then your eyeshadow just not working out. And I really don't want that to be the case and just ruin pictures or just make me like feel uncomfortable for knowing that my eyes are just look and walk. So I'm taking again this incredible You Glow Girl product and like I did before I put it on the inners. I'm just going to do the same exact thing just to make sure it has that glow there. It's really unfortunate that it won't pick up on this camera that well. I'll shine the light like I did but I will make sure I get a little video or picture of it at the festival to show you all how it looks there. I'm just kind of going to work it up onto my eyelid and just sporadically tap it in. And then again, I'm just going to place a little bit more under my brow bone. And then I think I might overlay it again on my cheekbones. I'm going to go really light so it doesn't harshly get put on and cake the rest of my makeup already on my face. It's just leaving it really with a nice... Oh, I think you guys can catch the light of it in there. Iridescent glow. For mascara, I have three colored mascaras here. These ones. I think I'm going to go ahead and do one on the bottom of my lashes. I might do the blue because it matches 
the color on my top really well. Yeah, let me do the blue right now. I'll see how I like it. And then if I change my mind after having it on, I can always do a different color for the concert, the festival. So this is the NYX Cosmetics Color Mascara in blue. Now if I change my mind and switch the color, I would just do purple. It's my next bet I would do. Um, I like doing blue because it really pops my eyes because my eyes are blue. It's just a color burst, you know? You know. Now I'm just going to do the top mascara with Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Now also another step you could go towards and do is using waterproof mascara. This would be helpful with the heat um, if it rains, which I'm pretty sure it's supposed to the day I'm going. Um, it's just an, another cautious thing you could do to take any precautions for your makeup. Yeah. I'm gonna look at that. Ooh, I really like this glow guy. It's just like a very nice light look that's gonna tie in really well with my outfit. For lips, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Butter Lipstick in Rubric Beer Float. This is just a simple nude lipstick that I like just layering on. I'm gonna try and see how this Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss by Urban Decay looks on top of it. This is shade SPL. It's a very pinky, iridescent, um, sparkly lip gloss top coat, I believe. Um, I got this in my Sephora Play Pack. I just want to add it on top because I think it'll match the highlight pretty well. You can also wear this on its own if you wanted to do that. So real quickly, I'm going to show you guys with my phone light this shining sparkly stuff on my face that's so cool the lighting it's going to look so good in the sun too you can even go to the step and put some on your collarbones if you have it i might do that i only have a small container on it so i might not want to do that all in one so i could use it for other looks put some on your neck you know how people put that um glitters or the unicorn snot i believe it's called on their chest you could do that with this i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair real quick and then put my shorts on show you guys the final look all right so i went ahead and put the shorts on that i'm wearing you can't see it it's not on the frame but usually for concerts when i go out i do the same thing with my hair where i'll just take it in the pigtails right over here and just wear it like that right now i'm pretty sure that's the plan i am doing i might do one of them back here do that little board right there um let's go ahead and do that because if i don't do that then i'll be putting my hair up in a little bun if it gets hot and just wear it like this um i'm gonna go ahead and just do the one little ponytail thing what i do is take two of my fingers and kind of just drag them back to me and then also I need to make sure that it's even with amount that I took on each side and I didn't take too much of the sides and the bottom. And then from there, I just take my brush, brush all these down. And then I take what was in my ponytail and start brushing it up. Then I just brush the sides into my hands. And I just start making a ponytail up here. I'll take some hair if I think it's too much on my hands, put it down. Then just make my ponytail. Then I squeeze it, pull it like you would a ponytail, and then it pops up on the back of my head. Sometimes I'll position it to pop up more. And then I start to pull down some hairs here. And then that's how I do it. Fancy. Woo. It's really not that hard. You just make a short ponytail up on the back of your head, really, and let it rest there. I like this because it makes me feel like I have longer hair, and it just kind of gives the illusion of having longer hair because you have a high ponytail here falling down to more hair. Um, but let me find a better angle to show you my full outfit and my look, my look. Okay, so this is the full look, you guys. 
then my hair here. Great, cool. And then also finally you want to set your whole look with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this will help stay your makeup on all day and all night. Perfect. Alright guys, this is our final look. Isn't that this? I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me for the festival. Um, I apologize for the lack of lighting and just the technical difficulties of the sun. I will be vlogging the concert so stay tuned for that. Make sure you check out my outfit lookbook that I filmed yesterday and posted. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow all my social media listed down below. I'm Kate and I will see you guys next time. Bye!